Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hey guys, it's Victoria Victoria, and as you can already tell by the title, today I will be doing a video on what I eat in a day. Now this is just a general idea of what I eat in a day, so these aren't things that I eat every single day, but I don't have a lot of time to make this a long intro because I am actually late for an appointment, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Let's go eat. Okay, so I pretty much begin each morning the exact same way, no kidding. I go to my freezer, retrieve my frozen fruit, and along with my other fruits, I just place them directly into my Nutribullet cup. Now, I have different variations of smoothies that I do every morning, but my only constant will be my coconut kefir that always remains the same. Okay, now here's the coconut kefir that I was telling you guys about. Now, coconut kefir is basically fermented coconut water, and I drink this every day for a mega boost of probiotics. And then I'll just juice an orange here and pour this directly on top of the rest of my fruit and blend it all together and have myself a delicious coconut kefir smoothie. For breakfast, I typically have some bacon. Here I'm just showing you that I use sugarless bacon by Peterson's. And I would typically have about three or four slices of bacon. Today I'm gonna have about four slices. And I just put that in the oven at about 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I take some acorn squash, as you see here, which I've already baked. And I take the filling out and place it into a separate bowl because what I'm going to do is make some acorn squash patties, which we call yellow pie here at my house. That's what my son calls it. And to make it, you just use some pastured eggs and you just crack those open into a bowl, scram scramble them together or whisk them together. And you just want to drizzle a little bit into the yellow pie. <laughs> and you just mash it together to get like a cake-like consistency, maybe a little thicker than cake-like consistency. And you just use some coconut oil to line the pan and go in and place the acorn squash directly on top of that into little circles. Now these aren't the prettiest, <laughs> but it's absolutely delicious. So you just put it there, cook it on medium, and let that fry for about 5 or 10 minutes on each side. Sprinkle a little cinnamon on there, and it's absolutely delicious. Now while the acorn squash is frying, I'm just going to use some ghee here, which is basically butter, clarified butter, where the milk has been raised and taken out. And I'm going to use it to line the pan and pour some eggs in to make fried egg bacon and acorn squash or yellow pie. Okay, so I love fresh tea, especially tea with ginger or mint in it it's because it aids in digestion. So today I'll be making ginger mint tea with honey. So basically what I'm going to do is just boil some water here and grate ginger directly into the pot. And now I'm just going to throw in a couple of mint leaves. And after that has boiled, I just pour that directly into a mug. And I like to throw in an extra couple of pieces of mint and drizzle that honey right on in. Mix the ingredients together, and it is absolutely delicious. Oh, 
Okay, so here I just have a chicken breast. I usually pick up my chicken breast from either Wegmans or Whole Foods. I just make sure that it's organic. And I'm just cutting this into large chunks and it doesn't have to be meat or anything. And then I just take some Celtic sea salt and pour that right on top. And my organic garlic powder. And I'm pretty heavy with my seasonings with my chicken breast because I just love it to be zesty and tasty. So I'm just going to sprinkle the garlic right on top. And then I'm going to go in here with some organic onion powder. I'm going to lay this on heavy as well because like I said, I just love for it to be so flavorful. Going in with organic turmeric, heavy as well, and organic oregano and I'm just gonna mix all of this together I'm gonna put this in a coconut oil lined pan and just mix it together until it's nice and browned alright so here it is cooking looking nice and yummy it's just about done what I'm gonna do now is while this is still frying I'm gonna go and get my organic spring mix and put this into a bowl and then I'm going to take that chicken, pour it right on top. This looks so good. I'm just going to pour this right on top, oils and all. And I'm just going to throw a few grape tomatoes on top and I have myself a little chicken salad. Okay, so I don't know where I would be in life without salmon. I absolutely love salmon, and so does my fiance, which is why I have two. But I'm going to go in and add some Celtic sea salt on top of the salmon. And add some organic basil, sprinkle that right on top. I don't know why they make these holes for the basil and seasoning so small, because I feel like I sprinkle forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Now I'm just going to go in with organic onion powder and sprinkle a little of that on top. And now for my favorite part, I absolutely love lemon on any type of fish that I'm eating. And I just put a dollop of coconut oil on both fillets, top it with lemon peels and dill. And just take this and put this in the oven and now I have here some organic butternut squash now if you're gonna go in and cut butternut squash if you've never done this before just be very careful because I actually read online that this food is the number one food that sends people to the emergency room not because of them eating it and them getting a bug or something from trying to cut it so just be careful going in and cutting this but I make these every day basically what I'm doing is I'm just cutting this peeling the skin off cutting the skin off and I'm gonna take this and put this in my dicer and have diced butternut squash you'll see now that I've gotten the peel off I'm just gonna cut these into little quarters see how hard that is <laughs> I'm just going to take this and cut this into little quarters so it can fit into the dicer. See they're all set and ready to go. And here's the dicer and I just throw that in and they're diced. I absolutely love this dicer. My fiance got this for me because my son loves butternut squash cubed this way. So it was really hard to cut them up into small, into small pieces so this dicer was a godsend. So I basically just line this in with coconut oil and pour cinnamon on top and I let these fry for about 10 to 15 minutes and they are so good if you like sweet potatoes then you will absolutely love butternut squash it's a great alternative now here is some homemade sauerkraut and I'm just gonna put a couple of scoops of this on and it is absolutely delicious. I call it sauerkraut, but it's really a vegetable medley because it has more than just cabbage in it. And I just use that for an extra boost of probiotics and voila, dinner served.
my favorite meal of the day guys this is ice cream I keep it here in this container because it's homemade ice cream and it looks like this and I decided to go ahead and list the ingredients for you guys just in case you wanted to make some of your own homemade ice cream and it's a great alternative if you have milk allergies because you can use coconut milk to make this and it's absolutely delicious So what you guys think? Not too bad, right? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video on what I eat in a day. And as usual, please, please like and subscribe. And also, if you guys want to learn how to make this ice cream, if you want me to do a video, a full video on how to make this ice cream, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I'll make sure I get that footage out to you guys. And also, too, I want to mention for Victorious Angels, I am so excited that we reached over 100 members so please take a look at the description box ladies because that is where we all get together and uplift each other and have group discussions i want to give a shout out to all of my active members um deborah valerie nikki jay Six thick curls walanda all of you guys alicia i love you guys so much and i appreciate it and i love speaking with you guys every day if i didn't say your name i apologize and i just want to invite you guys to join us so look in the description box and, I'll sh and it'll be a link for you guys to click on to join us and have fun with us in the community and have discussions about these things that women want to discuss so um Please, again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.